So what's going on guys? It's your boy Kindred and tonight, it's currently night here, we are going to cover drive through Danger for my Prepare for the Dev Time series. Honestly, I wasn't expecting people to ask for this, but I think there was one or two people asking me to cover it. So here you go. This is for you guys. Um, just like in Hot Air Skyway, I won't be covering the whole track. If you need guidance for power sliding, I will place my own gameplay, my own run at the end of this guide. So if you're after that, then you can skip to it immediately. Um, anyway, so I'll cover the areas on where you can overtake the dev ghost and then the shortcuts. How to take the shortcuts, how to properly utilize them, how to hug the corners here, etc. So let's go. Alright, so first things first, of course, at the beginning, I need you to pass through the pizza guy because the two bad placements are more favorable. And not to mention, you will be already cutting corner when you pass through him at the very beginning. And then, <laughs> next thing I would like to cover is the particular turn right here. <laughs> this one, the upcoming turn. So as you can see in the map, it's an area which requires U-turn. Oh, by the way, I'm using Drift for this video, but it's also applicable with speed. Anyway, so moving on. Um, <laughs> so for this particular path, it would require a good mix between U-turning and accelerating, similar to how we did it in the Hot Air Skyway ramp. Because U-turn too much, you are going to fall here in drive through danger. If you accelerate too much, then you are not going to hug the right corner efficiently. So let's see how I did it in the video. Okay, so as you can see, more or less I press them alternately. You turn jump, accelerate, you turn jump, accelerate, turn jump, accelerate. Because if I did not, for example here, if I just continued U-turning here without pressing accelerate, without pressing the acceleration button, then I'm going to go over all the way to the right, falling and needing to restart again. So it may take some time to get used to it, but with practice comes perfection, right? And then... This one is quite crucial as well. This is a blue fire ramp. So I need you to have as many reserves as possible so that you can keep it all the way. All right. So before you reach that particular ramp, I want you to power slide. <coughs> like how I did it here. <coughs> power slide immediately and then before or the moment you reach the turbo pad ramp here, you should have done at least one turbo boost. If not, that's okay. You can do a turbo boost me there. But if you do it, <clears throat> if you can do at least one turbo boost the moment you are on the turbo pad ramp, then you'll be able to get three consecutive boosts here, which is really, really helpful. There you go. Then just jump right there. And then cut the corner here, you can jump here, U-turn, try to hug the right wall or the right corner. Then proceed to take the shortcut here. Shortcut. So boost once. And then in preparation for the upcoming shortcut again, which is around there. <laughs> As Drift, try to position yourself... Uh, bit further left more than when you're when you're using speed so the moment you land here at the turbo pad ramp you must be power sliding and turbo boosting at least once and then as you can see the terrain around this area um there's some there's a mini ramp here and you'll use that to jump higher than usual so that you can skip that corner there you go. Just jump and then jump again because you don't want to be 
encountering any weird invisible walls here if ever. So just jump here. And then next shortcut will be this. I mean, by, at this moment, you should be able to do this without any problem. So let's just keep going. And then power slide again. Looks like I'm already covering the whole track. So the next one is the lamp shortcut. We like to call this a lamp shortcut. If you still don't know the trick on how to approach this, then it's basically just need to jump towards this shortcut. Jump and then <laughs> press the U-turn buttons immediately to the left. Or rather, you will need to do a grounded U-turn here. Do a grounded U-turn similar to how I'm going to similar on how I did it in this video. Burp. See that? <laughs> so the moment you land at the lamp, do a grounded U-turn, just press brake, reverse, and the left button of your D-pad. Then you can you can choose to jump when you're about to exit or not. I pressed jump here but it didn't register. So I just went directly to the turbo pad. Well, more reserves. Very welcome. And then the moment I landed there, <laughs> I power slided. I power slided immediately so I can do turbo boost. How did I do it? During me there, I hold on to my jump button and to the left D-pad button. So power slide and do boost. And then there's another particular cut here that you can do, that you can skip, which is right over here. Am I going to do it here? Yep. Uh, not really. <laughs> yeah, you can you can jump over there and save a few frames, save a few times. If not, then still okay. I mean, we are already gaining some distance from the dev ghost. And then there's another shortcut here. You already know how to do this, right? Just jump, then you turn. And then the next pass is going to be to the right side. So I highly advise that the moment you land, you power slide to the right. So that you can get a lot of reserves. And boom. There you go. Okay. The next thing that we are going to tackle is with this particular area again, but with blue fire this time. So with blue fire, it's almost the same. Almost the same as how we did it in lap 1, except that we will be U-turning more. Because the speed, the new speed that we have will propel us further to the left. Like, see what I'm going to do here. Yeah, well, I think that's just less, just minus one pressing the acceleration button than lap one. Anyway, to just adjust accordingly, press the U-turn buttons if you need to continue hugging the wall. But if you feel like you're going to fall, press the acceleration button for a moment there and then switch back to U-turn. That's basically, that's just basically it. And then, since you have blue fire... You have blue fire. If you can, take the turbo pad here again. The pizza guy turbo pad. So that you can get more reserves. And then... Power slide here again. Similar to how we did it in lap 1. Basically that's it for drive through danger. Really, really easy, don't you think? <laughs> Alright, and for some reason I ended up covering the whole track again. And it has made the video longer than what I meant it to be. Anyway, so I hope it's going to help you guys beat the dev ghost here in Drive Through Danger. And if you have any questions, just let me know if you have any clarifications regarding a certain part of this guide, then let me know. Just attach, just type in the specific time in the video that you need clarification. So there you go. Um, I've already made guides for other tracks, such as Crash Cove, Tiger Temple, Papa's Pyramid, etc. So if you haven't checked those out and you haven't defeated the Dev Ghost there, then please do. If you like this video, then please do leave a like. 
comment if this helps you subscribe if you want to see more of this or if you want to see me live stream interact with viewers so that will be it see you guys